All right, so in this module, we're going to be talking about how to find a hot product to sell online. And here's one of my methods, right? Success leaves clues. For me, when I get into a market and I build an e-commerce store, I want to make sure the product that I'm selling is going to sell, right? I don't want to invest in inventory. I don't want to invest in, you know, creating this good looking website and just to find out that, you know what, the product doesn't sell, right? So don't reinvent the wheel, guys. When you're creating a brand new store, unless it's something that, you know, you've built your yourself or you're really passionate about it and you know it will sell I mean go ahead by all means try it out right hear me out for a second right when you look at brands there's always three of everything right so the first guy that created the cell phone I don't know you have all these cell phone services Sprint you know singular Verizon there's always three right look at sneaker brands Nike's Fila's um, Reeboks look at you know pants you know you have the innovator right the person that invented it, then it became so popular popular that everyone started buying it. That then, you know, other people came into the space because there was just so much money to be made, right? And in e-commerce, we're taking that ap same approach, right? We don't want to reinvent the wheel. I mean, I know I don't. It's just a lot harder, right? I want to make sure that I'm selling something that's actually going to sell. All right, so how do we find these hot products? Look for products in hot markets, right? Where are all the most of the eyeballs at, right? Go to Alexa.com. Go to the top, I want to say maybe top 20 sites, right? Or maybe 20 to 50. Okay, start browsing those top websites on Alexa and s start seeing what's, what's being promoted all the time. What are you constantly seeing that's being promoted? You know, is there is there opportunity here? Can we create a competitor? Can we use can we take some of these growth hacks on social media? Can we take some of, you know, the strategies that we learn building a good looking website using coupon codes, um, you know, building surveys? Can we get into that niche and just dominate it? In my opinion, yes, you can, because you're learning these growth hack strategies that a lot of these brands aren't even doing because they have no clue. They have no clue on how to do it. They're hiring agency after agency and after agency. And a lot of these agencies don't even know what they're doing. Right? So I listed out, here's some hot markets that I listed out. Weight loss. You have exercise. You have skin care. You have hair care. You have clothing. You have jewelry. You have pets. Those are all hot markets, right? Go to the Barnes & Noble. Look at some of those magazines, right? What, what kind of magazines are in circulation? right so you see sports magazine bodybuilding those are hot markets golfing magazines those are hot markets right so if i wanted to you know increase my chances of selling a product i want to make sure that i'm selling a product in a hot market now how do we find products look for products in hot markets right what do you see being advertised a lot Where's the money being spent? I just talked about that, right? You can go to you can go to alexa.com. A lot of these guys aren't focused on social and only media buys. This is how we capitalize, right? We're taking that whole social approach. If you go to Alexa Top 100 and you start seeing what are the media buyers doing out there? What are they buying? You know, what's what are you seeing that's consistent, right? If you see that and they're not doing it on social media, guess what? You have a lot of opportunity to just crush it on social media, especially if you're seeing somebody that's buying a lot of advertising on media buys, but they're not focusing on social. They're not focusing on Facebook. They're not focusing on mobile, right? Social and mobile right now is dominates. And guess who owns social and mobile? Facebook. So if you aren't advertising on Facebook, guess what? You're leaving a lot of money behind, right? So here's some of the strategy. What's hot on AliExpress, right? So let's say you decided, hey, I want to get into the pet niche, okay, because we know the pet niche is hot. Here's the first thing I would do. Go to AliExpress, okay? I love this strategy. What you want to do is you want to go to AliExpress, and I typed it up here, and I put pets, okay? So here we go. AliExpress, we type in pets, and here's what we come up with. Now, you can see what I like about AliExpress. You can see how many people are purchasing these products, okay? Orders, orders here. Look at this. And look at this, look at this product, 37 dollars, 30, I'm sorry, 37 cents for this hot product, okay? Now, can we create a pet store and resell this product at five bucks? I think we can. I, I know we can, right? If we put a lot of the growth hack, you know, the ad hacks that you learn, such as using coupon codes, you know, now 50% off was $9.99. Now, at five bucks, you know, you would be winning depending on how much the ad costs. 
right? So I think pets is a really hot market. And look at these products that you can get. So this is a great way. Is you could also sort by, um, let's see, let's sort by. No, not price per page, but let's sort by orders. Best match, okay? So we're gonna sort by orders. What are people buying? 15,000 or 14,000. Orders, 5,000. 5,000, so let's sort again and see if we can get a higher number. Right. I mean, just looking at this, just looking at, you know, just looking at sorting by orders and looking at the products that are selling is a lot of these collars. Now, I mean, I think that's a great niche, right? Look at these collars, you know, harnesses, the, you know, the dog collar store or the, you know, the puppy harness store or the dog harness store or, you know, the dog, um, you know, dog's product store or something like that, right? I mean, this is how you find hot products, guys, right? Don't reinvent the wheel. Just look at what's selling, okay? And this is one way of doing that, finding products that'll sell. Now, remember, you don't need a, you know, part of the growth hacking strategy is you don't need to buy all these products. We know that we can drop ship them now from AliExpress, right? I can buy it here and send it to the customer, First, I don't have to spend thousands of dollars on inventory. I mean, I could buy one piece for $2 and send it to the customer for two bucks, right? And then once I start generating sales, once I start seeing it's working, then I can, you know, get this probably cheaper, get it for like 50 cents or so, right? And you can ask the suppliers for these images. They'll give you these images as well. But that's a hot market. Okay, let's get back into you know, our slides, right? So look at what's hot on AliExpress, okay? What's hot on Amazon, the same thing. You know, Amazon has a best seller section. You can do the same thing. It's, this is one of my favorite one, methods, actually. And what I suggest is that you use the AliExpress strategy or the Groupon strategy, because those combined just work the best. So for Groupon, you know, you can do the same thing. Okay, what hot market do you wanna get into? Let's say it's pets, right? So here I am, I search pets on Groupon.com and here's what I found. What was interesting is that, look at this. It shows me how many of these products are being sold, right? So now we have, now we're finding that, hey, you know what, pet beds are pretty hot, right? Now I can create a store based around pets and I know what products to sell, right? right because we're selling products that are currently selling now we add our ad hacks our, our coupon codes and our, our strategies that we cover in this course and now what you have here is a highly optimized website right because you're using the theme that I gave you. you you have the growth hacks already installed on that theme the conversion hacks now you found a hot market, right? So you're starting from the highest point of success. You know you wanna get into market where people are buying things, constantly buying things, not just one time, but they're buying it frequently. So you picked your hot market, and now you know what kind of products to sell, right? Because you did the research. You looked on Groupon, you looked at AliExpress, and you're looking at what are consumers currently buying right now so being that you know what consumers are buying now you're creating a website around that niche and this is going to allow you to start from the highest point of success combine that with all these growth hack strategies you learn in this co course and watch your first business come to life i mean that's this is it's that easy all right i hope you enjoyed this video please comment below if you have any questions i'll see you in the next one bye